Democrats say that Medicaid expansion would be the cornerstone to North Carolina's recovery from the pandemic. Helping hospitals, especially rural ones, helping the economy by bringing back billions of dollars in federal aid and providing coverage to those without it. Democrats make their latest pitch for Medicaid expansion during a virtual news conference. Wake County Representative Sidney Batch says House Bill 1040 would provide coverage to more than 100,000 laid off workers who no longer have coverage through work. We can no longer sit here and allow four billion of your federal tax dollars to sit in Washington. We need to bring that money back home to our state. Democrats led by Governor Cooper tried to force Medicaid expansion through the legislature last year in budget negotiations. But Republicans opposed it. North Carolina ended up with no budget and no Medicaid expansion. Now Democrats are using the pandemic to urge Republicans to reconsider for the sake of the economy and for the health of hundreds of thousands with no health care. What we've done in our unwillingness to give people access to health care is we have participated in creating a public health crisis. And we see it playing out right in front of us with the pandemic. The NAACP has joined the effort, urging supporters to reach out to lawmakers and ask them to reconsider Medicaid expansion. Democrats say public support is growing, but when asked about Republican support, one lawmaker responded this way. We all agree that part of the holdup in getting it done this year would be, would be the Senate. Senate leader Phil Berger has always opposed Medicaid expansion and shows no signs of changing his position now. However, there is a bipartisan compromise in the works. It would provide Medicaid money for the uninsured, but only for COVID-19 testing during the pandemic. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.